this rack here, this is a 12U, and that case was originally used for doing monitors, and it's worked out real well, uh, but we really haven't needed to do monitors in a while, and if we do, we've got three uh, digital boards now that uh, we can do monitors with, so I'm not too sure we actually need this case. Uh, reserve for monitors anymore. And with it, when we, uh, we had all this extra cabling sitting in there, uh, which was adding a lot of weight to the case. And really, all the thing did was just sit here. It's used for storage. But and also, what we pulled out of there was a uh, this unit right there. That's one of those uh, voltage regulators that maintains a constant uh, 120 volts uh, in the U.S. 120 volts. And here we have just a regular uh, PDU of LED lights, LED pull-out lights. So anyway, these things have been sitting in there probably for a couple of years doing absolutely nothing. So, so hopefully when uh, the COVID mess stuff gets straightened out, um, we'll be back on to doing some larger shows. So we need to get um, our main amplifier rack uh, sort of ready make some minor changes to it just to make it easier and quicker to set up. All right, as I said, with um, all the stuff out of the, uh, the monitor case here, we're going to repurpose these uh, monitor cables and we're going to be connecting them into the back of our main uh, amplifier rack. We just want to pre-connect some cabling to the inputs just to make it uh, easier when we do set up, setups for our large shows. All right, here's the... Uh, the back of our main amplifier rack and uh, so with the COVID stuff going on it's been a long time since it's been out so uh, at the very bottom there where all the cables are connected into that's the uh, 50 amp uh, power distro and above that these two amplifiers here uh, with the purple on them those are the crown macrotechs and the inputs on them are daisy chained together and as well as networked together with that white cable you see. Then above that are the uh, QSC, these are the PLX, these are 2502s. Uh, they're just in here for uh, backups in case something uh, doesn't work either with the monitor or with one of the crowns. And then right above here are the uh, PLD amplifiers, the 4.2s. Now we have two others that are in a small rack uh, that we take to smaller shows so these PLDs are in here for the larger shows and we do usually run a uh, full six uh, monitor send so what we're going to do is connect uh, some some of the cables into the inputs and get them wired up and labeled correctly so we know what they are so when it comes time to actually set up for a show all we got to do is pop off the back of the amp rack grab a cable that's already connected and then just plug it into the um, into the snake head. And we're using uh, uh, about 15 foot cables uh, for all of this, which should be enough because the amp rack really doesn't need to be and shouldn't be too far away from the snake head. And with our labeling, we just keep it simple. I just have to uh, pardon me for all the glare over here. It's sort of dark in here. Uh, here are the inputs. Uh, it's going to be in the top row here. We're going to be setting up the cables ahead of time. And then um, on the output side of it, uh, these, these four outputs here are for the single channel use as well as uh, paralleling but not to be confused with paralleling of inputs. This is paralleling of amplifier outputs, which is completely different. So that's what these four are used for. So that's A, B, C, and D, or one, two, three, four. And then over here, if you want to bridge uh, the amplifier channels together, you would use either one of these, depending upon your configuration. Uh, but for us, most everything we do is within these four outputs right here. While I'm back here, I'm going to be putting some labels here on the outputs. Now they are sort of labeled anyway, but they're hard to see. Uh, but what I want to make sure is that the 
uh, outfits are labeled to make it a lot easier for the um, others that are working the event. So it's just easier just to go ahead and mark them. They are labeled up here what they are, but they're very uh, small. And when you're, if it's dark out, looking back in here, sometimes it may be hard to see uh, which one you're looking at. All right, it's pretty simple. Monitor one goes in. Well, now all we got to do is uh, coil it up. Doesn't have to, the, uh, the coil doesn't have to be too tight. And then what we're going to do is just place the bundle. Pretty basic. There's an area right above the uh, amplifier, just an open area. And that's where it's going to sit. And then we're just going to go across and uh, do the rest of it in the same way. Okay, so one of the things we usually do is label the cables further down from where they are connected to. So what we're going to do is add a smaller label here at the end. Now I don't know how well you can see that on there, but it does say monitor one. The font is really small and it, the, it does wrap around, I don't know if we can see this or not here, but it does wrap around the whole cable, which I don't think you can, now nah, you won't be able to see that. But it wraps around the whole cable, that's so, when we're looking at it, all we have to do is just look at the cable and know this is going into monitor one. Uh, as I said, we really can't see what's on top here, uh, so anyway, that's why we're adding just a little extra labeling a little further down on the cable. Okay, and some of you may be thinking, hey, why wasn't this stuff done? You know, why are we just now getting around to doing this? Uh, well, actually, this stuff has been done in the past. Uh, it's just as the amplifiers have changed, uh, like for instance, all these amplifiers that we have in this rack, we didn't have before. But our old configuration, we did do this on the older configuration. Said so each time something changes and we either upgrade or change how we do something, you know, the cabling changes, uh, how we run the system may change. So we have to go back in when we have time and try to reset up everything that how we had it before just to make it easier to use. I think that's about it and um, yes this is this looks like a mess of wires as good as it can be but uh, remember it this is the only time it's gonna look like this is when it's in storage uh, when there's a show going on of course all the cables will be out and then it'll be a lot easier to to look at because we still need to be able to get to the uh, speakers to speaker connections so all right a basic setup for uh, six monitors which should be uh, probably all that we ever need. And a couple extra channels for something else if we need to expand it or if we need two extra channels there for maybe a backup for something. Anyway, that's about it. And just another uh, example of uh, just trying to maintain the uh, sound system in between shows. All right, thanks for watching.